Hello, Pestilence here, and what I have for you today is a Cleveland four-way lock. It has the, the cross, it takes a cross-shaped key, and this one, of course, does not have a key to it. And I have tried to pick this open, and I tried to make a uh, pick for it, uh, which didn't go very well. As you can see, it's still locked up. So, uh, I saw on eBay that they had another one with a key. And uh, while I paid a little more for it than I really wanted to, um, this is what I got. Boom, boom, boom. I was really expecting this size. Had no idea that they came in this size. But here it is anyway. The larger brother to that one. A Cleveland four-way. There's the keyway. And as I said, now let me put my notes out of the way. Here is the key. And that is one strange shaped key. Now the way it fits in here is, see the lettering there and you have the lettering on the key here you uh, put the lettering up to match and the key goes in otherwise any other way that you put the key in it will not work bum, bum, bum. nice so you can put the key in that way and you get nada and put it in that way and you get uh, sucking second helping of nada uh, third way and Another helping of you ain't getting in. So you have to uh, put the key in like that with the number matching. Oh, here we go. Put it in with the number or the lettering matching the lettering up here. And when you do that, boom. Just like magic pops open. Okay, so. Uh, what I found online concerning the Cleveland four-way lock um, wasn't much of anything. One source uh, had some information, and they even said that uh, they were fighting conflicting uh, details of information. So, I'll try to give you uh, what seems to be accurate. Uh, the M.B. Lock Company of Cleveland was incorporated in 1922 by J.E. Bevington, James A. Muzio, Joseph P. Muzio, Edward W. Leeper, and Rob O. Bartholomew. Well, what does that mean to you? Uh, same thing it probably means to me, nothing. Uh, however, uh, the patents that they received for locks... They had two patents that were issued. One was for uh, one was to James A. Muzio, who was one of the founders, on September 11th, 1928, and the second was to John E. Bevington on October 3rd, 1933. So there you go, two of the same people that uh, the M.B. Law Company uh, was founded by were granted patents. So. How does that get us to the Cleveland Four-Way Lock Company? Well, uh, on August 5th, 1924, the Four-Way Lock Company was incorporated and, uh, okay, and in 1935, the Four-Way Lock Company, oh, okay. Well, as I said, in 1924, the four-way lock company was incorporated, and it was incorporated by the same people um, who incorporated the MB lock company. So it seems like the MB company lock company became the uh, four-way lock company of Cleveland. Okay, if you follow that, if uh, if you follow that, then you're doing a better job than I am. Okay, now according to my notes. Uh, in 1935, the four-way lock company, boom, 
was purchased by the Johnson Fairbox Company, uh, becoming a division of that company. Well, what did they make? They made uh, the coin-operated boxes that uh, were used in um, trolleys and taxis and things like that. So, what happened was that uh, they then, as part of the Johnson Fairbox Company, they were doing business with uh, another coin-operated you know, people at uh, company that made those, and that was the Cleveland Fairbox Company. And so, what happened? Uh, the Cleveland Fairbox Company was acquired by the Johnson Fairbox Company prior to World War II. So, uh, the Johnson Fairbox Company was busy. They ate up two companies and got these locks in the process. They also, uh, Cleveland uh, Four Way also made, I believe, boxes. Uh, lock boxes of some some sort, because I've seen those on uh, YouTube. Somebody took one apart and they showed that uh, the locking mechanism was quite similar to the one that goes into the padlock. Okay, so I hope that made some sense without charts and graphs and things. Oh, I like that. Okay, so that is the Cleveland four-way lock. And um, if someday I make uh, a pick that, uh, reliable pick that we'll use, I can use to open this up, then I'll show you that. Or if I choose at some point in time to actually buy one, uh, same thing. I'll do another video. Okay, thanks for watching this nonsense. Take care. Stay legal. Bye. Hello. One last thing that I forgot to mention about these four-way locks is that they, they don't have pins. They have L-shaped levers inside. And because it's a four-way lock, it can have uh, those levers on all four sides, or um, sometimes they only have it maybe on uh, opposite sides on two of them, from what I've uh, gleaned off of the internet. Uh, however, they do have these L-shaped levers inside the lock. Oh, I love doing that. So anyway, thank you and good night.